In this demonstration, we'll be seeing the out-of-box performance and ease of use of Syntelex. Firstly, we'll get some data loaded. I've opened up a project and we'll cover off some terminology first. We see that within a project, of which you can have many, we can have various collections and we can have various networks. A collection is your unstructured data that you feed in. A network is a structured view of the data which Syntelex can create. In this project view, we also have wiki pages that can be filled out to aid with collaboration across groups and organizations. Firstly, I'll create myself a collection so I have somewhere for some data to go. Once we have that, we can load data. Loading data can be formed in a number of ways. We can do bulk ingest from a file system. We can ad hoc upload local files. We can point Syntelex to a URL. We also have a fully configurable web crawler, and we can also connect to an email server. In this demonstration, I'm going to select this folder, which is locally on my machine for ingestion. Once this is submitted, we see that instantly we're able to make use of these documents and see what's been extracted. And already, 115 documents have been extracted and the structured view of the data, which we'll see shortly, created. If we take a look at this document, we see that a range of entities have been extracted. On the right hand side, we see the full list of entities and also linkages which are extracted by Syntelex straight out the box as it comes without the need for any configuration. We see here that it's not just a case of entities being extracted, but also fused. So if I mouse over this person, all the subsequent references to them are also highlighted. We can get key information from them and see a summary of the text references. We can also see that linkages are extracted. For example, this person is pulled out as the leader of Al-Qaeda. We also have all the metadata on the document. We have tools to help you see a list of entities. So we see, regardless of how many green highlighted pieces of text, there are only 10 individuals within this document. And we can see them here and skip to them. We also have geolocations which we enrich with latitude and longitude and allow us to place them on the map in an interactive manner. In addition to this view, we have the network view, which is a structured view of the data which can be built as this data is ingested, as it was in this example. Moving to the network, we see a more traditional view of data. We have our person, person and other entity tables and we also have link tables. If I sort my people by tags, we see that brings interesting people to the top. I can also sort by references to find the most referenced person in my content, which in this case is Osama bin Laden. I can also see the number of documents they're in as well. At this point, the data has been fused across all of those documents and formed into one view. So the system is looking at the different people across the documents and looking, is this person with the same name in this document the same person as this person with the same name in another document? And if they are, they'll be fused together. Hence the numerous documents that some of these people are from. From this view, we can also drop them onto the graph. From here, we see that I have Osama bin Laden and various relationships that he has, represented by the green links. Any of these can be brought up. If I middle click, it'll bring me to where in the data this reference was obtained. Thus, someone with no skill can quickly analyze and make sense of information and present it to those who require it. Furthermore, in this view, we also have additional analytical tools to allow us to do expands on people, to allow us to look at the geolocations in a set of data. We also have timeline views as well, which we'll see in later demonstrations. 